वेलकम लर्नर्स इन टूडेज वीडियो आई विल शेयर विद यू 32 इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स ऑन हाउ टू राइट अ रिसर्च पेपर यस यू हर्ड राइट इन दिस वीडियो आई एम अबाउट टू शेयर विद यू 32 इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स टू राइट अ रिसर्च पेपर सो वेलकम टू मरार लर्नर्स एकेडमी द प्लेस वेयर पीपल कम टू लर्न इफ यू हैवंट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल येट देन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट एंड प्रेस ऑन द बेल आइकन टू गेट नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ माय यूजफुल वीडियोस सो आई एम अबाउट टू शेयर विद यू 32 इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स on how to write a research paper so let's start this video without wasting any further time so 32 points on how to write a research paper i have i have written these 32 points in my website's blog i will give its give its link in down, in description down below so you can also read it from over, over there as well now i will give you a brief about the 32 important points so let's start the first point is research significance you should be pretty sure about that how your research is important according to the literature view and how it's important for your uh, other researchers for managers for employees for uh, research students for government if it's related to the government issues okay and the second point is originality your research should be original then the third point is technical soundness your research should be technical should then the fourth point is clarity presentation your research should be clear should clearly tell the research idea which you are studying on point number 5 is related work you should be pretty sure about the related work related work according to you, sorry on your topics and on your variables so you should be pretty sure about how much related work has been done on your topic on your variables point number 6 is the motivation why are you doing this research what's the motivation behind your research then the point number 7 is from your problem statement the point number 8 is how approach or we or how approach or we can say is that what is your problem how much problem you have solved first you should know your problem what is your problem and have you solved your problem in your study or not then the point number 9 is valuation very important valuation whether your study is empirical or is the- theoretical based theory based okay then the point number 10 is conclusion have your uh, the conclusion which you have written has summarized all your findings limitations and future suggestions then comes your ingredients of high approach it should include point number 11 which is also a point number 11 the motivation of the solution then the point 12 is the code then the explanation of code the 14th is the example 15 is basically it's a empirical study or not it's, it's empirical study then you have to include these all points if it's theoretical the point number 16 you have to write these points as you can see in front of your screen then this is a related work it includes the point 7 which is discussed related techniques which are the related technique theories variables models studied which are related to your topic and variable should be included in your research then comes the 18 point number 18 citations you should properly write your citations in the in the given format mostly ap format is used so it should be ap format or harvard or mla or any soft or any other uh, citations format then comes the point number 19 discuss the limitations weakness you should discuss the limitations and weaknesses of your study because there is no study in the world that which does not have any limitations or weakness so it's compulsory to write the limitations how your research is limited it can be limited in terms of sample size theory variables fi- financially factors and much more then comes the point number 20 which is references you should know the types of sources from where you have collected your data it can be from conference paper general paper books chapters websites technical reports research papers you should and then comes the point number 21 you should be pretty sure about the different styles of references such as apa mla harvard chicago etc then comes your introduction point number 22 what is your motivation why are you do- oh sorry what is your motivation what is the problem why this study is important okay 
then you can see the other point then comes your problem statement in which you have to write your research questions then comes your proposed approach which you have proposed in your study then comes your contribution which are your most important findings you have to write them briefly then the organization of your paper or or i can say the structure of your search paper then comes your conclusion where you have to write the finding of your study limitations and future suggestions the point number 29 is your abstract abstract is always written at the end but it's the first heading of your paper okay keep that in your mind in your abstract you write your motivation the purpose of your study the problem statement of your study the main problem in the search gap the proposed approach the methodology of your study you will write over here and and the end you will write the contributions of your study so then that is for today i try to discuss with you the 32 important points on how to write a research paper i tried my level best uh, i tried my level best to explain the 32 points with you i hope you learned and understood that and i will give this web website link in description below so you can easily read them after watching this this video so that's it for today if you want any video on any topic then do comment down below i will try my level best to make video on that topic or i will provide you relevant material If you really learned from my video, then do like it. If you haven't learned anything from my video, then do dislike it. There is no issue. Subscribe my channel, press on the bell icon, and that's it for today. Thanks for watching.